Guten Morgen everyone, I am in Madrid and I'm here at the Horno de Babette to visit my friend Bea, which is going to tell me how to make her famous recipe, the basic bread. Come with me. Okay, thank you Bea for having me in your bakery. So I want you to teach me your famous recipe, the basic bread. Is yes, right? it's a simple bread. A simple bread, yes. yes. I, I will teach you how to make it. Okay. It's very simple. Do you remember the recipe? Right? I, I, I tend to forget. Oh, <laughs> yes. but I have a solution. Okay, Bea, let me add your recipe into my app, the Gluten Morgan Baker's Percentage, which is totally free for you to download for iPhone or Android. So then you can do this recipe at home too. So the idea of the simple bread is that anyone at home, no matter what they have, they don't have to be experts, they haven't had to have made bread before, mm -hmm. they can do it. All that it requires basically is a bowl, bowl. and then a flour, flour. flour <laughs> a, a bit of salt, okay. uh, it's, it's nice, and, and, yeast. The, and the yeast, we're not making it with sourdough, okay. with levante. But you can buy this at the supermarket, yeah. and groceries, And okay. really, almost everyone has a bowl at home of yeah. some kind. It doesn't have to be, you know, a plastic bowl or okay. any bowl works. Better, okay. better is not metal, but, you know, it could work too. So, okay. and then you add the water. Now I'll show you how to mix it. Okay. Because that's one of the things that makes it simple. So now we're going to add the water and mm -hmm. we're going to mix it and we're going to use two okay. fingers to mix it. Well, we're going to use our hand, but initially we're just going to use two fingers. And this is a dough that has sort of medium hydration. You can see the, the quantity we're adding. It's 240. It's not the end of the world if it's a few more grams, right? Now I want to see you. So now Ooh. it's two fingers. That's the secret. That's the secret. Mm. This is the secret weapon. And it's clockwise. And it's very important that it's clockwise. Mm. So yeah, if you do it the other way, you know, it doesn't work. I always do it the other <laughs> really? way. Really? Yeah. Yeah? And are you a right-hander or like... I am a right-hand, but I do anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. But yeah. I don't really... Know. I think I always do it in this direction. You're yeah. mixing, I'm not mixing. knitting. No, I'm not kneading. And then when you see that your fingers are no longer very efficient, then you start mm -hmm. squeezing the dough ah, like this, oh, right? The like best when you were part. a kid, yeah, with, you know, and you just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Extremely quick and simple. Even if you have a bad hand, right? Mm -hmm. You know, some people have a bit of a, because it's yeah. so, such, like a couple of minutes, it's okay. Now, if you couldn't even do this, obviously you could mix it in the mm -hmm. machine. Yeah, you could use a machine if you want, but it's... It's a bit absurd because you're gonna have to clean it. It's a little, little bit ridiculous. Have, yeah, <laughs> and you're gonna have to put it in the bowl. So you're gonna have to clean the bowl and clean the bowl of the machine and, okay. and so just make sure that there is no like there there is dry, yeah. dry uh, flour. flour just make sure there's no dry flour and then you you're very happy and you it's done oh that's all and again just to keep up with the idea that anyone at home can do it with whatever they have the normal things one has in the kitchen a plate is something we all have in the kitchen yeah so we cover it with a plate so it's been two hours. Two hours it was really fast yes very <laughs> fast it could also be three hours ah. yeah it wouldn't okay. matter, or it could be an hour and a half, probably no less than an hour and a half. But that means you can adapt it to your life. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> yes. What happened here? It's grown a lot. It's a bit hot in the bakery. Wow. So. <laughs> Take a look at this. Incredible. And it's almost needed yes. by itself. By, it's like magic. Mm. Yes. The magic of the gluten. And now what we're going to do to it is going to make it even better. Oh, okay. So you have to wet your hand. And then it's basically the stretch and fold technique. But you do it way more times, you know, than you would if, if it were a regular dough. Okay. Like this is oh. the, the simple dough. So you basically do it many times. It looks a little bit sticky. It is a little bit sticky and one should not worry if the mm. dough sticks to one's hand. Uh, okay. It's perfectly fine. The dough is a bit sticky and you just don't stress out about it. Okay. You just keep folding it and you fold it about 12 or 13 times. Mm -hmm. It's not completely like a properly kneaded dough, but it's almost there. Are you lost with all the sourdough bread recipes that you find on the internet? Would you like to learn all the tips and tricks to make your own sourdough bread at home? Then I have the solution. I have designed the perfect masterclass of sourdough bread just made for you. By clicking the link on the description, you will learn how to make and take care of your sourdough starter. How to knead, shape, ferment and bake your sourdough bread how to use and read the baker's percentage, all the basic techniques to bake like a pro at home, and how to read and understand your dough. Don't miss out on it and click the link on the description right now. Wakey, wakey. Yo, oh, what time is it? <laughs> it's been six hours. Six hours. Oh. 
Okay, time to continue. It's been six hours. You want to see? Yeah, any magic? during my nap. Yes, during your nap. Let's see the magic. Oh, no. Wow. It looks pretty it is, nice, doesn't it? Yeah, full of bubbles. I love this kind of dough. It's incredible. It has to shake like Santa Claus tummy. This is <laughs> important. It's very important. Then you know it's ready. Good. So now what do we do? Okay, now we're gonna shape it. It's a very basic way of shaping for uh -huh. beginners. Okay. But it works for non-beginners too. Okay. So we'll go ahead and shape okay. it, yeah? Let's do this. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you flour the counter. You don't know how to do it with your hand. You can use a sieve, no stress. And then you take your bowl and to turn it around, it's important to put thumbs at the bottom of the bowl because it's a bit easier to turn it around. So you just turn it around and then let it drop. And then it comes off a few seconds. Wow. So now we just, again, we put a bit of flour on top uh -huh. and I, you can do it with your hand or with a sieve. Degas it very little. Yes, anything. not that much yeah, because those bubbles much. are beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yes, and there's no need. What you should do is put quite a bit of flour underneath when you prepare the area. You, you think of it as a, as a clock. You have 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So you take 12 to the center mm -hmm. and then you see that a little corner appears here. Mm -hmm. And then you, you take that one and you bring it to the center and then a new corner appears here. So then you take it and you bring it to the center and then a new corner appears and then like that, like that, Making like that. stitches. Yes, mm -hmm. st <laughs> making stitches. So when you finish, you have uh, a smaller diameter. Uh -huh. Like anyway, a bowl. It's like a bowl. You could actually just turn it around and round it a bit and put it into a round banneton or whatever. So then we turn it like this. So you don't really need a banneton, you can use just a napkin. And if you just have a napkin, you put it in and then you fold it quite tightly from one side and the other, but put in a flower, otherwise it's going to stick. Yeah. Okay, but in this case, we're going to put it in the banneton. So now the beauty of this is that you take your banneton and you put it in the fridge and mm -hmm. then you preheat the oven. And the time the oven is preheating is the time that your dough is going to need in the fridge. At and what temperature? Uh, the oven at 230. And you can even go a little bit lower. Just don't go higher. It doesn't generally work that well at home. Mm -hmm. It's important to preheat for quite a while. Yeah, it's always. Yeah, because they, the ovens are liars. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't tell the truth. So you preheat long enough. In any case, the dough has to be in the fridge 45 minutes okay. at least. Okay. Let's take it to the fridge. Yeah. So, time to bake. Yes, time to bake. Yes. And at home, generally, you don't have, we are at the bakery, so you don't have this. This was your, your grandmother's pill? <laughs> no. no. Unfortunately, I'm generation zero in baking. Oh, okay. I don't come from a baking family. Okay. How about you? No, not no. the same. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this is a huge pill. At mm -hmm. home, you'll have a small one, but really at home, most likely, you're going to use a tray. Uh -huh, a tray. Yeah, a tray is very, com well, I find it very convenient for beginners, particularly. You don't risk burning, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to take our bread and okay. we're going to turn it around. Wow. Remember, it comes from the fridge. Yes, right? it's cold and it's huge. Wow, beautiful. Time to bake. One of the nicest things about being a professional baker, I was a home baker, so the ability to create a steam at the touch of a button. But what about if you don't have this oven at home? <laughs> There's a solution. Yes, there is a solution. I was a home baker, so I've always created a steam in my home oven. The way to do it is you take a, yeah, like a mold for a plum cake, and you can fill it up with stones, to sort of a volcanic stone is better, but if you cannot find it, it's perfectly fine without. And you put it in the oven the time that your dough is actually in the fridge and your oven is preheating. It's important that this is really, really hot. And then you take a sort of half glass of water, and when you have put the dough in, uh, before you close the door, and you have to wear gloves for these because it's dangerous, you take Take the, the glass of water and you, you pour it over the stones, a bit like if you were in a steam room. And then it's going to create a cloud of steam. Don't put too much water. If you put too much water, you lower the temperature of the stones and then you won't create the beautiful um, cloud. So that's the way to do it at home. Wow, what a beautiful piece of bread. It's, it's still hot. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Ow. <laughs> okay, let it cool down and then we slice it, right? Yes. Okay, so when you're cutting your bread, it's very, very important that you actually do it with the right technique so you don't cut your finger off. And basically, what you need to do is get the knife trapped into the bread. Then you continue cutting it. Here again, you want the blade to get trapped in the bread, and once it's trapped, then just without applying force, you just basically cut it. That's that. Good, perfect. 
So let's try it. Beautiful slice. And it's very moist. Yes. And light at the same time. And left this crust, which is really golden and thin at the same time. And crispy. Oh. Oof. It smells amazing. Okay. And try this. Oh. <laughs> you like? It tastes just like bread. Spanish bread. <laughs> yeah. Bread Excellent. made at home has that. And if you think this has had nothing, I mean, you've basically no. done very little with it. It's pretty correct, I think. Hmm. The time is the secret. Yeah. yeah. Time is the secret. And then as you evolve, you can do other things. But yeah. to begin with, it's pretty beautiful. Pretty useful. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, Bea, thank you for this incredible recipe and tell everyone where they can find you. Okay, so we have a bakery in Madrid and you can go into our web, which is El Horno de Babete. Babete is uh, double T-E at the end, dot com. And there you can find our addresses in, in Madrid. Okay, and remember to share this video, like it and give us some comments. And remember that the gluten is with you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about sourdough bread and sourdough starter, I encourage you to check the link on the description. And remember, this masterclass was specially designed for you.